The inner machinations of the Fatui's headquarters are an enigma, but not for long. With the release of 3.5, consistent lore drops for the Fatui have hinted at the inner workings of their facilities, and recently, there's finally been some new information about the secrets of the Fatui's laboratories sprinkled in the many, many new world quests of Sumeru. So welcome to the Nine Circles of the Fatui, a dive into the secrets underneath and the Fatui Harbinger's headquarters. But let's first begin with some background. The Zapoljarni Palace was recognized by Victor as the primary headquarters of the Fatui Harbingers, where the Fatui diplomats hail from. According to the Fatui NPC Durak, however, the palace's greatest secrets are hidden underground, where the Saritsa wills her eyes to guard them. The underground of the main Fatui Harbingers consists of nine layers that are each named as Limbo, Desire, Gluttony, Avarice, Wrath, Heresies, Discord, Deceit, and treachery. These nine layers are actually renamed circles after Dante Alighieri's Inferno, one of the parts of the Divine Comedy. Dante's Inferno is one of the most famous pieces of classic literature, and if you have no idea what Inferno, Purgatorio, and Paradiso are, I need you to pause this video and read them for yourself. Trust me, you will love it. But Dante's Inferno is a first-person account going through hell with the help of Virgil. It's a classical piece from the 14th century that separates hell into nine important circles. These circles are where different kinds of sinners are eternally tortured in, with each circle having a core sin as its central theme. But in Genshin, the circles of this Italian literature are used to demonstrate the nine underground levels of the Fatui headquarters. Durak says that the deeper the circle, the more restricted they are to most of the Fatui agents, saying that the last layer of treachery is reserved for the Saritza's everlasting globe of ice and crystal itself. But he does give us an overview of the other circles, and let's start from the one that we know the most about. Prior to the new Sumeru world quests, the only layer of the Fatui headquarters that we completely know of is the underground arena known as Heresies, defined as the sixth underground layer of the Fatui. This was first seen in the webtoon and was described as a circle of research where I assume harbingers like Sandrone and Dottore linger. This is where we see Ildotore's subordinates perform disgusting experiments on children that include but are not limited to, allowing them to fight whatever this tentacle plant thing is. We are told that over 100 units have fallen to these experiments, and this is mostly an arena that could be spectacular in nature. But now, with the release of the new world quests, we have more information about the other eight. First one is Limbo. Limbo is the uppermost facility that primarily deals with dormitories of lower ranking Fatui agents. It's the tamest of the several layers, and really just sticks as the surface base of operations. This is also the base training ground if you're not yet part of the actual organization, and it's usually where they conduct most of their screening processes. Almost all Fatui recruits that are tested before the Harbingers have to undergo their initiation phase here, and it's even possible that this is where Tartalia fought the Fatui soldiers prior to his recruitment. In the Divine Comedy, However, the layer of Limbo is meant to be where the unbaptized and the virtuous pagans are, who are not sinful enough to warrant damnation but did not accept Christ. Which makes sense why this layer is where the recruitment processes usually happen. The second layer is Lust or desire. This one seems like it's really suspicious looking, but the actual role of the layer isn't exactly fornication or whatever you think it is. It's not even called the circle of lust in game, but instead the underground layer of desire. It's more so a mix of departments and projects that have something to do with the inner recreations within the Fatui. For example, Arlequina's orphanage known as the House of Hearth is located in this layer because it's the closest to the dormitories and the training grounds. There is also an observation by the NPCs that the Harbinger Columbina mostly walks around in this layer instead of the others. Possibly a connection to her being a Sealy? I don't know. The third layer is Gluttony. The NPC Lushka mentioned in one of the world quests that the third layer of the Fatui is where the factories for function exist. This is one of the two research-based layers, with the other one being heresies. The layer of Gluttony is a layer of production, where most of Sejnaya's products such as Catalife, food, water, technology, and even military tech are produced. This layer was described as the sweat house, and Lushka even mentions that despite Snezhnaya being a wasteland of ice, because of the amount of forgeries and smelting areas that are required to produce the gunpowder, explosives, and other elemental-based weaponry of the Fatui soldiers, this layer is surprisingly very hot. 
The fourth underground layer of avarice is where the political departments of the Fatui reside, the ones that have more logistic control over the organization and are in charge of the politics, wealth, and resources of the Fatui. This is actually where Polchinella and Pantalones departments are located, and the main moral vaults of the Fatui. Durak further mentions that this underground layer has the better assignments, because instead of working outside with the threat of death or injury, the Fatui that are assigned in avarice are working desk jobs manning away the paperwork that the Fatui require. Number 5 is the layer of wrath. If you know the joke about the Torres Happy Farm, this layer is basically that. The fifth layer of wrath is where the main prison chambers of the Fatui are, both people that should be there and let's just say unwilling employees of the Fatui Human Resource Department. Wrath is actually the least described chamber out of all of the underground layers because when Lushka mentioned this, she was so uncomfortable to the point of skipping over the entire layer altogether. If I were to make a guess, Wrath is where they keep the kidnapped or hostage people who defied the Fatui, the potential interrogation rooms or even torture chambers that are hidden for special operations. I also think that defectors like Lyudochka from the World Quest, a very special fortune slip, will get sent to if she ever got found. We've already tackled the 6th layer, so let's move on. The 7th layer of Discord is where the higher ranking Fatui agents stay to train and fight. Durak mentions that Pyre Fatui agents and Mirror Maidens train themselves here, while Fatui Gunners and Sisson Mages are usually delegated to either Limbo or Desire. Furthermore, Durak mentions that there's a lot of quote-unquote rubbish in this layer, such as scrap pieces of elemental shards and ruined guard carcasses. I like to theorize that he means this is where Sandrone throws away all of her junk if they don't work. The 8th layer of Deceit is where the Fatui Harbingers reside in. This layer of the underground is the largest layer, separated into 10 sections of resting areas known as the Volgia. Each Harbinger is assigned to one and usually have their closest confidants and subordinates reside with them as personal caretakers. This is reminiscent of how Alighieri's original depiction of the H Circle has subsections that encompass more specific kinds of fraud. The size of each Bolgia is almost similar to a domain. It's personalized based on their own interests, and we don't actually have any information on the specifics and what they look like per Harbinger. There's currently 10 of them, but interestingly enough, Piero isn't amongst the owners. What's fascinating as well is that Luchka says that she heard rumors that Bolgia's 6th and 10th were being reconsidered for renovation considering their lack of use. But 8 or Senora's domain is being preserved to maintain her legacy within the Harbingers. Though there are further rumors that the other Harbingers are against its preservation considering that Senora was already dead. So we don't actually have a confirmation if the Bolgias are being reused after the Harbingers departure, which is weird considering the waste of practical space happening down there. And last but not the least is the realm of the Saritza and Piero as the director of the Fatui. The NPC used to find it as an expanse of unfathomable cold, and it's the most heavily guarded layer. They didn't give us a final description of it, but they did say that something might be cooking down there. If I had to guess, this has everything to do with the storage of the Gnosis or even stronger divine artifacts. Lushka and Durak both say though that infiltrating the layers of 6 to 9 are borderline impossible without the right clearance, as the amount of security and protection that separates each layers are made to kill even their fellow Harbingers. Woo! But that's it for me today. The new world quests really gave us a lot of information and I'm all for it. I'm so fascinated by the fact that Genshin used Dante's Inferno as a way to mimic that the Harbingers, and even the Fatubi as a whole, are sinners. We don't have much information though, so I guess I'm just gonna have to wait for that. But that's it for me today. My name is Aster, and happy April Fools! <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this unnecessarily intricate prank, but oh, I really wanted to do this joke for a while. I knew that just a cheesy joke would definitely be easier to spot and would kind of be boring. So this one, this one. <laughs> the inner machinations of my mind are an enigma. I have lied to all of you. And if this video gets taken down for NDA, please know that I was legit just pulling out of my ass. Please don't sue me, Hoyo Verse. If these turn out to be true, I was legit just making stuff up. Anyway, happy April!